Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how much I've made in dividend income for the month of August 2020. Just before we get into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, if you definitely consider subscribing, on a goal to get to 2,000 subscribers, so all the support I could get right now would be very much appreciated. And also, don't hesitate on smashing the like button on the video as well if you like what you see. I can't stress enough how much it really does help the channel out and helps boost out all my other videos and the channel in general to a bigger audience. So, yeah, definitely consider... Um, subscribing commenting liking all of it helps so so now into the topic of video guys i'm going to be showing you how much i've been paid in dividend income for the month of august and i've been paid 11 times off 11 different companies and i'll be showing you how much exactly i've made from each company and as a total so now we'll be using the free trade app or we're checking um the activity just showing you what each company's paid but obviously you can see the portfolio currently stands at three thousand seven hundred and forty six pounds 22 pence we're up only around, up, up, up around thirty pound in uh, the last month. So had quite a few ups and downs as, as expected at the moment. So we'll head over to the activity tab and we'll check out the month of August. So we'll scroll down back to August. So the first dividend I received was from Verizon, which was three pounds twenty one pence. That was on the third of August. Verizon um, up four point two one percent in the last thirty days, and I'm up just over one percent with my investment overall. The value of the position is £377 and the average cost is £45. So it's good that I'm averaging quite down with them. And I own 8.146 shares of Horizon, a good dividend yielding company. Again, I'll be adding regular money to these. In the year, they're up 2% as well. So Verizon, things aren't looking all right for them at the moment. So that's the first dividend, which was for £3.21. On the same day, I received a dividend from AT&T, which was for £4.18. A good day for the telecoms companies. AT&T is struggling a little bit at the moment. I'm down 8.22% on this position. The current value is £288, and my average cost is £24.86. Again, what I'm looking to hold for the long run of a really good dividend yield of seven, around 7%, almost 8%. So the AT&T dividend of £4.18, it takes the income so far to £7.39. So the next dividend, which is on the list, which we received um, a couple of days later, it was just an 8 pence dividend, which is from Apple, my fractional shares of Apple. So I own, now it's 0 0.638 shares of Apple. Obviously, since the stock split, the uh, stock has gone down. And even since then, tech stocks the nasdaq has been hit so it's down to 112 dollars now so i think it could be a really good buying point so i own 0.63 shares current value 55 pounds and my average cost is 77 pounds so i'm up 13.31 percent on this position at the moment and with the eight pence dividend from apple it now takes the income to seven pounds 47 pence So again, which is on this, a day later, I received a dividend from Colgate, which was for £1.43 on the 14th of August. Colgate, uh, so you can see in this position, I am up just over 1% for the 5.056 shares I own. Current value of the position is £296. And um, average cost is just under, six, just under £58. Uh, so with that dividend from Colgate, the £1.43, it now takes the dividend income so far to eight pounds and ninety pence. The next dividend, which was again on the same day, was a uh, my biggest dividend in the month, which was from Abvi. Abvi paid me four pounds and sixty-one pence. My highest position in my portfolio at the moment. I own six point one six shares of Abvi. The current value is four hundred thirty pounds, and I'm up just over twenty percent, with the average cost being fifty-eight pounds and fifty-two pence. So. Again, I've been down a couple of percent in this month, but overall performing really well in the year, up a massive 34%. You can see the big dip as well. It's managed to recover well. So with the Abbey dividend added on to the total of um, £4.61 dividend now equals £13.51 so far in, in dividend income. So my next dividend, which was a few days later, which was for BA Tobacco, which was for £1.05 pence. So you can see they're struggling a bit, struggling a bit in this position at the moment. They're actually out 3.46% in the last 30 days, but as you can see, I'm down 11% on my position at the moment. Two shares owned. 
the current value is £52.79 and my average cost is around $29.30 so as you can see you need to get the average cost down as they're currently around 26 but a nice little increase at the moment they are very volatile but again this is a good dividend paying stock so the BA tobacco dividend added on uh, the income is now £14.56 So my next dividend received was uh, on the same day, which was from National Grid, the utilities companies, they paid me a total of 96 pence. So let's just check out, see how National Grid are doing for me. So uh, in this position, I'm currently up just over 5%, three shares currently owned, current value of £25.94. I do really want to be getting in more of these um, shares, these, but they don't pay a quarterly dividend, I think it's twice a year dividend. So yeah, I'm up, um, as I said, up 5.19% and our average cost is £8.20. So of the uh, 96 pence dividend added on to the total, the income is now £15.52. pence. So again, the next dividend I received was a few days later, which was from Starbucks, at take a symbol SBUX, which was for £1.11. pence. Starbucks has been doing very well recently. So up 12.71% in the last 30 days. And even in the year, they're still down. So it's, I still feel like they're quite undervalued. But I own 4.24 shares of Starbucks. The, um, down 6.22% overall, which is a big increase still. As I was down around 20% not long ago. So £70 is the average cost of it, my what shares I buy. And I'm, the current value is £280. So the £1.11 dividend income added to my total it now brings it to 16 pounds 63 with starbucks so then the next dividend i received was from royal bank of canada which was uh, three days later on the 24th of august so i received a 52 pence dividend from them a recent a recently made purchase from me so i own just over one share so i'm up 0.34 percent nothing major the current value is 56 pounds 96 pence and my average cost is pretty much the same, slightly down in fact. So with the 52 pence dividend added onto the income, I'm now at 17 pounds and 15 pence. So we'll check out the next dividend I received, which was from Greencoat UK, which was only for three pence. Oh, that was on the 28th of August. Greencoat UK are a wind power trust. They're that struggling at the moment, down 8%. And I, but I'm only down just 1.9% on my investment, two shares only owned. Again, one I want to be looking to add in more shares in a relatively cheap stock at £1.34. But I do see a good future for this company as it's all about renewable energy and obviously yeah, good for the environment. So with the um, three pence added to that, it takes it up to £17.18 in dividend and income. So my final dividend of the month which is oriental income for 62 pence on the 28th of august the same day so oriental income i've now sold from the portfolio i did that in order to get more shares of the s p 500 and buy a couple other shares as well so i can't really tell you i'm doing on that because i don't have them anymore but i did sell i think it was a slight loss but it was only maybe a pound or so but so yeah, that is the total dividend income, guys. I've received a total of £17.80 in dividends. It's probably my highest month. Again, it's nothing massive, but also straight back into certain stocks invested back in the portfolio. So I will be looking, obviously, to increase the positions and increase monthly dividend income, especially from some of the positions I get paid already quite well in. So we're looking at adding more to BA Tobacco and the AT&T, etc. So they do really pay a good dividend. Try and get that snowball going even more. So guys, that is pretty much it for the video. Don't forget to smash the like button. It really does help my channel. Subscribe, comment, let me know what you think of my dividends and whether you own any of these stocks as well. So on that note, guys, I'm going to leave you to it today.